corrupt Comey threatens Trump, Hannity steps in with ruthless reality check. Former FBI Director James Comey recently threatened President Donald Trump. In response, Sean Hannity stepped in with the ruthless reality check that Comey deserves, and you won't want to miss it. Ever since corrupt former FBI Director James Comey was fired in May 2017, he's been surfacing now and then to take jabs at the Trump administration, most recently over the firing of Andrew McCabe. Despite the fact that McCabe's firing was hinged on his own dishonesty, Comey took it as an opportunity to blast Trump on Twitter. Mr. President, the American people will hear my story very soon. And they can judge for themselves who is honorable and who is not, the disgruntled crooked Comey wrote. Now, there are just a few problems with Comey's threat directed at the president. First of all, Comey was fired from his job as the FBI director because he wasn't an honorable man. A mountain of already documented evidence shows that Comey aided Hillary Clinton in escaping justice after committing a long list of crimes in an attempt to cover up her illegal email server scandal. This fact alone should give Comey reason to pause and close his mouth, but due to the tremendous size of his ego, he keeps talking. His recent threat on Twitter for Trump will only further complicate matters. The former FBI boss hasn't realized it's time to remain silent and only talk to his lawyers about how he's going to defend himself in court. Comey's second problem was pointed out by Sean Hannity during a recent interview on Fox and Friends. Hannity said, We do have sadly, at the upper levels of the FBI and the Department of Justice, serious issues, crimes, that really need to be investigated. Not the least of which, you know, James Comey very arrogantly, this weekend, he tweeted out, Soon the American people will see from me Mr. President and they'll get to decide. Hannity continued, but, James Comey is going to have to answer a lot of question about why he told, in January 2017, to Donald Trump at Trump Tower that the Clinton bought and paid for Russian dossier was salacious and unverified, but yet, three months earlier, the bulk of that dossier was used in an application for a FISA warrant to spy on the Trump campaign. Hannity added, he's going to have to answer, you know, important questions. OK, did Hillary break the law? We know if you mishandle, destroy classified information as it relates to the email server, these are really big crimes, 18 new. SC-793. Hillary not only put it on a mom and pop shop bathroom server in a closet, but we also know that Hillary then deleted subpoenaed emails, 33,000, then she acid washed the hard drives. And, then, she used a hammer to break up the devices that these emails were on, and they are all crimes, and the question is why didn't James Comey indict her? Based on this brief clip from Fox and Friends, James Comey should really not be issuing idle threats to our president over social media. Sean Hannity and millions of other American patriots want Comey to be held accountable for his corrupt acts during the time that he served at the FBI. In addition, other deep state operatives such as Andrew McCabe, Peter Strzok, and Lisa Page should be prosecuted for their roles in the corruption uncovered by the Department of Justice Inspector General Michael Horowitz. Justice must be served to not only James Comey but all other former and present federal officials who conspired with him. If our current leadership in the Department of Justice fails to hold criminals accountable for their crimes, for the simple fact that they are former federal employees, then that leadership must be replaced. If Attorney General Jeff Session is not going to step down, he must then step up and start fulfilling his promise to deliver justice to those who have trampled our laws so arrogantly. Lee.